Hi, hey, I'm Zansi. Zansi self-proclaimed Prophet Shepard Bushiri has used his daughter's death to attack the South African government. She had been battling a severe lung infection. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News in Zansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know you have the story. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Bushiri said his daughter was blocked from getting the medical attention she needed in time when they were stopped from leaving Malawi for Nairobi in Kenya to seek medical attention. He also said it was heartbreaking to hear doctors saying if she had received the medical attention sooner, she would have been alive. When I spoke to that doctor, he highlighted that if she had not been blocked at the airport the first time she needed to travel to Kenya for medical assistance, she would have not passed on. We wish we could have reversed this, but we believe it's God's time. There's nothing we can do but accept, he said. Now, in the statement, Bushiri implied that South African authorities had had a hand in her death. He said her doctor highlighted that if she had not been blocked at the airport the first time she needed to travel to Kenya for medical assistance, she wouldn't have passed on. It's very disheartening and sad, therefore, that my daughter has become a victim of the persecutions that we are facing from South Africa. The Bushiris are currently in their home country of Malawi, where they have been for some time now, after fleeing South Africa illegally while out on bail for a fraud and money laundering case. A warrant of arrest was subsequently issued and an extradition order case will soon be heard in Malawi court. Namzansi, a few days ago, pictures were posted on Bushiri's social media pages of congregates' prayers for Israel's recovery. Israela was born during a time when my wife and I were going through great persecution and she has lived her life witnessing what it means to fight and labor for the Lord despite trials and battles, he said on Monday. Now, Israela was a strong young girl who loved to worship and serve God. Despite her young age, she was a walking angel. In our darkest moments, she gave us light, and in our lowest moments, she lifted our spirits. I'm grateful to God, to her father, an angel of such spirit and beauty. She will always be my little girl. Bushiri has called on his supporters to join his family in celebrating his daughter's life, adding that she will always be remembered. Now, there you have it, Mzansi. I wish their Bushiris a great strength in this difficult times. As for Israel, Israela, may her soul, her beautiful soul rather, rest in peace. Now do leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot, just the way you like it. Great sadness that I announced to you. The passing on of my daughter Israela. Um, as a father, it was my desire to see her growing and living to fulfill the purpose that the Lord had called her for. Israel was born during the time when myself and my wife were going through a lot of persecution. She has grown knowing nothing but the labor and the fight and the pain as palace had been through in the course of saving God. And not just a child, but she was someone who had given her life to Jesus Christ as her Lord and her personal Savior. Israel was a young girl who loved worship and serving God. It is important to notice that we as a church, uh, as well as parents, did our part. We prayed. We fasted, we declared, and sought God to saving her life. But we believe that God's will is sovereign, and we bow to his purpose and to his will. And we believe that the devil has no power over God's children. And we believe that this could not be the will of the devil, but it is the will of God. And we bow to that sovereignty of God and say, let his will be done. We are a church that believe in miracles, that believe in healing, and that believe that Jesus Christ is the healer. One asked me a question and said, do you still believe in God? And my answer was so simple. I will believe him even more after this. I, I will believe in, in him more than I've ever believed. I still believe that God he is the same God who was, who is, and who is to come. I believe as well that it is his will that we are alive 
and that one must not live a lot of years for him to know that God loves them. But it is about fulfilling what we were called for. Jesus died at the age of 33. He was so young. It was not about how old he died, but it was about he fulfilled what he had come on earth to do. Having said that, I'd like also to say I believe with all my heart that Israel has fulfilled the work she was sent to do in this world. The ministry of Israel was unique in that it ministered to me personally and my wife as prophets in all the moments we went through persecution. She was our encouragement and nothing less. She was someone who accepted that she will live a life seeing her parents passing through persecution and all the tests that we went through and she became nothing but an encouragement. I would like to take you into faith. As I did mention earlier that we have faith in God and we believe in miracles and we believe in God but above everything we believe in his will. We believe that Jesus Christ has a final say on every situation. We wish we reversed this. It's unfortunate that our child, when she wanted to go and have a medical attention in Kenya, she, she was blocked right at the airport and she couldn't have access to quick medical attention. And it's sad to hear the doctor's report that if she had gone earlier, she wouldn't have died. She became a victim of all the persecutions we have been going through from South Africa. However, we believe that if it was God's time and God's will, this was supposed to happen in this way. God would call anyone at any time, at any place, through any means. We believe that she is singing with a sense in heaven and that she's with angels and she's with God. And because of that, I am calling all my leaders across the world of the Latin Christian Gathering Church, all our followers, all those who stand with us, who love us, and everyone else across the world, that we will not have sorrow around the passing on of Israel. Rather, we will have three days of celebrating and worshiping God for the life of Israel. We will not mourn. We will celebrate the life of a great prophetess. She lived to be our prophetess and minister to us personally and forever we shall remember her. And as we praise God and rejoice and celebrate her life, we will stand in worship for the next three days, giving God all the glory and all the praise for her life.